Hello, it's Amanda here on the OT Yarn channel. This is just a short video on weaving. I'm weaving a 2 2 twill on my rigid heddle loom and I'm coming towards the end of the warp. So I thought I'd just show you my setup. I'm just using a mill spun yarn for this project. It's an iron weight 100% wool by Studio Donegal, which I purchased while on a trip to Inishmore which is the largest of the Aran Islands off the west coast of Ireland. So this is the tag for this orange one. And details. And this is the brown one. So this is my setup. This is a 24 inch Ashford rigid heddle loom and I'm using three heddles. This is heddle one, heddle two and heddle three. The first two heddles are on the double heddle block that comes on the newer Ashford looms and the third heddle is on a single heddle block which would have been standard on the older Ashford rigid heddle looms. And I just have it secured on there with clamps. The space in between the two heddle blocks is a little bit tight but it is manageable. Ideally if I had a small notch cut out that would put, push the heddle slightly further back that would be perfect but I haven't tried that yet. So 2212 two is on a straight draw threading 1, 2, 3, 4 and I have used the instructions given in Sine Mitchell's book Inventive Weaving on a Little Loom. The chapter is entitled Three Heddle Adventures. I also have installed a floating salvage on each side. So if I was using a floor or table loom sequence would be to raise shafts 1 and 2, then 2 and 3, then 3 and 4, then 1 and 4. With this threading on the rigid heddle, the way you achieve this is to raise heddles 1 and 2, then raise heddles 2 and 3, then lower heddles 1 and 2, which has the effect of raising threads 3 and 4. Then lower heddles 2 and 3, which has the effect of raising threads 1 and 4. So I'll just weave a sequence to show you how it's done. Raise 1 and 2. I'm just going under my floating selvage as I go in and over as I come out. Raise two and three. And a lower one and two. lower two and three. And that's one sequence complete.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. I'll leave a link to Sign Mitchell's book that I mentioned in the description below. It will be an Amazon UK affiliate link to the Kindle edition of the book, but you can look for it from other sellers or maybe your local library would have a copy. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.